Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are returning from the East Coast over here to North Dakota, aka West Minnesota, aka East Montana, aka South Canada. It is ranch and country, so there's really no getting around looking at a ranch. And and even this uh, is is a only f under $5 million. So we've, we've really seen a, a drop in pricing, but it makes sense because the trade-off is that you're living in North Dakota. Uh, I knew someone who lived there briefly. She got married and I quote, because there really wasn't anything else to do. Uh, so that's, that's the kind of place we're dealing with here. It's, it's going to be a lot of land. It does look like we've got a, a very nice house here, but it's probably not going to be quite to the caliber of what we've seen elsewhere. Uh, we should also note ahead of time that uh, that this state has, has a lot of reservations, a lot of native presence, so uh, we will be taking a heavy hand with land back on this one. All right, we've got, I, I should have, actually, I'm going to go back here. I, I want to point out, again, we've got like the little square of green grass that is is so clearly intentionally cultivated and so clearly not native to this region that you <laughs> it just looks stupid like just just let it be natural grass because having this clear delineation where it's like oh that's where they stop watering it looks awful so here's here's the green section of the grass this is the river ranch a uh, very creative name uh, props. We we have not put much thought into this gate. We we don't really care if the riffraff is coming because the riffraff isn't coming to North Dakota. You are probably so far from your nearest proletariat uprising, you don't have to worry about it. All right, and we can see that uh, probably what fifty percent of this house is garage. All right, looking forward to seeing that. And. And here is the, the glorious landscape that we are paying so much money for. Uh, this, this is why they have to pay the big bucks for this house, because that, that is what North Dakota looks like. It looks like Mars. It looks like you're on a desert planet. Oh, look at that. We got hay. And we got the, we got the river. That's, that's what we've named it after. Yep. Natural splendor at work. If you like mud, you are in luck. It's like the desert, but cold. And they're just, just really, really advertising the hell out of this. Is that a fracking rig in the distance? I think it might be. I think, I think that's an oil mining rig. Oh, that's too funny. And they didn't even want to bother to, to water the grass that much. So 60% of this is concrete. Right, are we going to get inside any day now? We've got enough pictures. Holy shit, we've got a lot of pictures. So we're just going to, we're going to cruise on through these. Oh, and we're inside. All right, I spoke too soon. We're inside. We've got a very nice, very nice stove set up. Um, right into the kitchen. We've not hidden the refrigerator. It looks fairly ergonomic. We've got, you know, stove, sink, fridge. Um, the this sandbar is set a little too far it's it's like half sandbar half island because it's it's set in front of the stove which is a little weird and then these chairs are awfully close so i think we're dealing with just a a small space here this house is only 7700 feet which i mean like for most of us that's a lot of space but for for a millionaire house that's not that much um, but yeah, these chairs are like back to back. We've had to cram this dining table in here. We've got it. Of course, we got the fucking can lights. This island, it's, it's like a sandbar and island combined. It's like they wanted to have both, but they didn't have space for it. So it's just the biggest fucking kitchen island you've ever seen. I don't think I could even reach back here. We've got an outlet back here. I couldn't reach across the island to get there. What are you using this space for? Got some drink fridges down here. Yeah, that's the front door. So you walk in and it's it's right in the kitchen here. This is not going to be a very big house. What do they have 131 pictures of? I'm uh, I'm concerned. Uh, the the backsplash 
is nice. The the stone floor is nice. The the rafters. I mean, it's all very well designed. It's uh, it's obviously it's just a cozy little space, which you know what, considering the size of the property, you, I feel like they could have just made it a little bigger. This house was built in 2012. It was only built 10 years ago. I mean, I guess that's kind of the wake of the the real estate bubble, but still, you could have got a little more floor space, I think, for your money. The, I mean, the wood on the cabinets is, it's nothing to write home about. The, the rough edges on the countertop are, are pretty trendy, pretty stylish now. And this is the view from the front door. So the front door is over here. It looks like we've got a plant. We've got very uh, open air, open concept. So everything sounds like the dishwasher when the dishwasher runs. Um, I don't, in a house this small, I don't know that you need to be wasting all of this space on open air and catwalks. Oh, and right here, right by the front door, we have a TV over the fireplace, a TV over the fireplace, because even though we don't have uh, one percenter money, we still like to replace that TV every year as it is as it is roasted and sacrificed to the gods of excess. Yeah, this, so this is supposed to be the living room right by the front door here. Uh, it's it obviously not furnished now. All right, it looks like we've got the walk-in pantry here. We saw one picture of that. The microwave is hidden in there uh, because. Although you could have just put it on the island, that would have looked shitty. Uh, so we've had to hide it around the corner. We've got a bedroom with pictures of elk on on the chest at the foot of the bed. Okay. All right. I'm just surprised that there's no elk on the wall, frankly. Uh, <laughs> we've got a, a TV in the corner because we hate sleep hygiene. We're going to just really lean into this rustic western motif. And of course, we've got a beautiful wood ceiling with fucking can lights drilled in it. It's a nice bed frame. I do like it. Um, just in combination with, look at this, you're casting like little pine trees on the wall. The woodwork on the base of this lamp is very cool. It's just kind of kitschy with the theming. This is... Oh, that's wide open to the bathroom. That's... I don't like that. If you're sharing this room with a spouse, they can't, like, go take a shower without waking you up, first of all. Second, I don't know. I don't need to be looking at my bathroom every second I'm in my bedroom. Here's the shower. Here's the sink. I don't know what that's a picture of. That's like a demon baby with antlers coming out of its head or something. That's creepy. I don't like that. Got a his and her sink, nice and cozy, right next to each other. We actually like our spouse, which we better, because every time they need to use the bathroom, we can we have it full view, full view of what's going on. Look at that! The bathtub is, like, directly in view from the bed. I don't like that. I want to be able to close a door when I take a bath. Also, this space never gets warm, and you are in North Dakota, so you want, to, you want this space to get warm... But no, because it's just joined to the bedroom. And, oh, I do have to point out the toilet is in toilet prison. The toilet's in toilet prison because you can't let them know you shit. You gotta hide your shame. You gotta go in the little shameful shit closet. I feel like something is supposed to be hung in this little dent in the wall, and they've just removed it. There's the shower. Oh, here's another bedroom. I, I assume that last one was the master bedroom, but this one is larger i think unless that's just a camera angle um we've got some art on the wall uh, it looks like a landscape of some kind and we got a patio door out here i don't like i don't like patio doors I'll, I'll take a balcony door in a bedroom but a patio door i don't know i don't need the outside to be out my door oh and of course we got a tv because we need a tv in every single room because god forbid we take our eyes off of Fox News. Obviously, this place, the a lot of the furniture has been removed. They've mostly moved out of here. Um, and I'm not going to harp on them for not springing for a, a staging service because, you know, $5 million is a, is a lot for a house, but it's it's not staging money, I guess. Uh, we got a, another, we got a walk-in closet here. We've got a vanity. 
uh, freestanding. This is a very nice house for the sticker price. And I understand that we're paying North Dakota dollars. So so we would expect a bit of luxury for it. But honestly, it's, it's nicer than I was expecting. And it's only a two bedroom. I'm just noticing this. It's only a two bedroom house. So it's just those two. And yet there's eight bathrooms. Something about that does not <laughs> does not sound correct to me. But I guess I believe you. Um, like this, this could probably be a bedroom. It probably can't be counted as one because there's no closet is what I'm guessing. Um, so there's probably more bedrooms than are actually listed. You've got this nice light fixture in the middle. You've got sconces on both walls. Why do you need the fucking can lights? The room does not need to be lit up like the face of the sun. We got some interesting windows through here. So I guess maybe you wouldn't want to use this as a bedroom. Um, no, this is not a bedroom. This is probably a dining room. Yeah, because there's there's an open uh, view to the kitchen there and the, the windows. You got another mystery room with a TV. Why? Uh, it goes through to a bathroom. And this is, this is a, a walk-in closet here. So this, I feel like this is a third bedroom here. Um, because we haven't seen this one before. So there, there's got to be more than two bedrooms in here because this is a third walk-in closet. But, I mean, there is this window through to the, the dining room. And it is, I guess, weird that you would have to go through the, to the dining room. But it's, I mean, it's fogged glass. And there's a closet and a bathroom attached. I would call this a bedroom. Is it a weird bedroom? Yes, but still a bedroom. All right, here's another walk-in closet. I think this is the one that we saw in that second bedroom. Here's the loft. All right, we've put the we've put the office up in the loft. We've got a bookcase with a bookcase ladder, even though, I don't know, I feel like that bookcase is not really bookcase ladder worthy. Uh, we've got a map of the U.S., uh, so that we can feel superior for being at the top. Yeah, that desk is really just floating in the middle of, of this area. Get some plants. All right. The view from above. God, that, that desk has to be such a distracting place to work. Because you could hear everything that's going on in the whole house there. I do like I do like that they've got the, the wooden ceilings throughout. That I mean, it really makes it so i i really haven't noticed that all of the walls are white in here because you've constantly got you know the nice dark wood floor the nice dark wood ceiling right here's the balcony view out onto the property we've even got can lights in the balcony okay we're just sticking with the theme this was 2012 we knew better we knew better than to do can lights in 2012 come on people all right we are now in the basement where I can forgive the can lights because we've got low ceilings. And they're in a, this is not just a drop ceiling. They could have just done a boring old white drop ceiling. They've done this interesting uh, wood drop ceiling. We've got poured concrete floors here. That's really nice. If it floods, it's easy to clean up. Looks like we've got a little bar, mini kitchen down here. Yeah, that's, that's really convenient. If you're having parties down here, we got a bathroom down here. Got a, oh, we're supposed to do, this is like the movie watching den over here. We're supposed to have couches around this. We got darts. That's fun. We got spotlights on the darts so you can see where you're aiming. This, yeah, this seems like a fun party basement. All right. And you could be, spill beer on this floor all you want. It's not gonna, it's not gonna ruin your day. And this is, it's just a mini kitchen. So we've got a, a mini dishwasher and a, a microwave and a fridge. Bathroom's nothing to write home about. Decent tile work in there. But, you know, nice fixtures. Nice details. For for a house with a small sticker sticker price in the middle of fucking nowhere, it's very nice. Oh. All right, hold on. Because we are less than halfway through these pictures, and I've been getting nervous, but we've got this very stern bolted door. Is there a dungeon? Oh my, that's a panic room. That is a, oh my God, 
This just got so much more. First of all, we got a vault. We got three vaults for valuables. We got a panic room in case someone breaks into the house and you need to go hide in the panic room. This is why they didn't have a very serious gate. They're, they're just going to let you have the house. They're going to come in here for the panic. Oh, my God. Holy shit. We got a little TV. I assume there's like a security feed there. I want to know what else is in here. Got a bathroom down in the panic room with a very nice shower. You know what? You, you don't want to, if you are, are stuck in the panic room, living in fear, you don't want to have a subpar shower experience. Uh, we've got very intense water treatment system. Holy crap, the size of that tank. Uh, so they, they are ready if someone poisons the water hole. This is, this is why they're so willing to run pipelines through native lands, because they don't give a shit if their water gets poisoned. They're going to get theirs. Oh, I think this is the bedroom of the panic room, so that you've got somewhere to sleep. They're, they're planning to spend some time down here. I wonder if this is, like, nuclear enforced. Like, this is, this is probably, like, a bomb shelter or something. That's so much. Is this a second? This might be a second bedroom. Yeah, I think you've got two bedrooms in the bunker. And two bathrooms. Wow, you could really... This is like a second house under the house, just in case everything goes to shit. For $5 million, you get a house and a bunker? That's a steal! Holy crap! And they've got... The, They've even got the little the little uh, pottery barn sign. Changing the toilet paper will not cause brain damage. That's <laughs> that's the argument you're gonna have when you're in the nuclear bunker. <laughs> I love that energy. Is this? I'm so confused. This might be the regular basement bathroom. I don't know. There's there's a lot of bathrooms in this house. You are never gonna be in need of one. This is upstairs. All right, here we're, we're out on the road up to the property or up from the property. We got a, oh, this, I think the, I think the kitchen is over here. That's the dining room. And then you can see the laundry room over to the side here. I caught a glimpse of it earlier. We've got a mud room, coat closet. That's nice. I mean, the, the woodwork in the whole house is very nice. That door is beautiful. And here's the giant garage that we saw from outside. That we, we saw that most of this house was garage. So here it is. We've got an ATV. We've got a big-ass truck. We've got a boat. You know, every all the, all the basics. Just the, just the basics you need to get by. I don't even know what that is over there. Uh, this adjoins to a little barn is this supposed to be a stable or is this just a, a second garage how many vehicles are you well i guess you got like tractors and, and stuff that you bring in here so it's it's half garage half machine shop i guess and then i'm i'm guessing that this is the shower in the garage so you can scrub up before you go get the house dirty and that's all right the river ranch I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see a lot more pictures of the property now because I assume we've run out of pictures of the house and we're just going to slowly zoom out. <laughs> we really are. They're just slowly zooming out. We get it. We get it. All right. That's a nice view. All right. This doesn't look like the moon over here. Uh, we're actually looking at the hills up there. All right. What are we looking at? I think that might have actually been a water pump over here. I think that might be a water pump. It looks like an oil rig, though. Okay. There's the river, the landscape. We're just... No one... You know, people who make, like, a post-vacation slideshow of all the pictures that they took? And, and the the good, merciful people, which, you know, I, it's hard to say someone is merciful when they're making you look at their vacation slideshow. But the merciful ones will actually go through and be like, oh, I took, like five pictures of this bird. I should really only keep one picture of the bird in there and, and the other four can go. No, they, they did. They were not killing their darlings here. They, they didn't want to choose which pictures to include or exclude. They're just like, put them all in. Just keep all of them. You're, we're still going. And it's just the same pictures of the same shit. 
over and over and over again. I get it. Oh boy. All right. Oh wow. Hold on. Wait. This this view of the house. That's a bleak view. I can see why they put the balcony on this side because you look out the windows on that side and you're like, oh, I'm on the moon. <laughs> All right. Come on. And we're gonna zip on through. We got the sunset. We got the foggy skies. All right. The hay. A lot of hay. Got cows. Hey, cows. I don't know that there's much grazing to be done up here. I think you're spending so much, you would spend so much time watering the grazing land that it would really just cost benefit wise not work out for you. This is what, like a little base of operations out here? I don't, I don't know what that's for. The perfect, the perfectly square puddle of water out here. I assume that's for the cattle? I don't know how this works. Someone that knows ranching, fill me in. Alright, we're back on the moon. What? <laughs> Why does this belong in your Zillow listing? It's geese! We have them everywhere! Everyone has geese! Why did you... <laughs> this is... Someone just dumped the entire contents of their camera phone and there's three pictures of geese oh my god all right that's that's north dakota um apparently a state of people with no self-control uh, a passion for geese <laughs> um but otherwise you know low low cost house a, a fucking bunker underneath that's wild uh paranoid homesteader kind of people uh, prepared for the worst because they are probably causing whatever ecological disaster is going to force them down into that bunker. Um, it, it, was, it was a nice house. It was a nice house for the price, for the size. The, the details were well done. Um, not a lot of atrocities committed in there. Um, all right. Well, if you've, if you're from North Dakota, I'm sorry. If you've ever been there, uh, and have, have some things to share. Um, if you saw anything that I missed, there, there really, I don't know, maybe there were some fun things in the landscape. Uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.